Okay, here we go. This is my favorite verse in the Bible. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 5. This is how it goes. This is a real verse. So funny. And then there was a man named Shamgar, son of Anath. Please don't laugh. Is that the fucking cat lady, I bet? God. <laughs> Get her, God. <laughs> I'm God's little snitch. Uh, <laughs> There you go. And then there was a man named Shamgar, son of Anath, who killed 6,000 Philistines with a cattle prod. He too saved Israel. Praise be the Lord. Uh, thank you, thank you. That's a real verse in the Bible. Shamgar kills 6,000 people with a cattle prod, and that's the only time he's mentioned in all of human history. <laughs> The 13th century BCE Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> like, he beat the final level on Grand Theft Auto Palestine. <laughs> like, Shamgar kills 6,000 people. He only gets one verse in the Bible. Jesus gets half the book, and he only got himself killed. <laughs> You guys, have you guys ever been to a farm and seen a cattle prod? Like, you know, they're just like these sticks meant to annoy cattle. And Shamgar was killing people with these things. That's like if the soldiers in World War II ran on shore at Normandy singing, this is the song that gets on all the Germans' nerves. <laughs> Like, I used to think my grandpa was tough because he killed 17 Nazis, or 21 if you think Italians are people. Uh, <laughs> It's okay, I can say that because my grandpa is racist. Uh, <laughs> it's part of my heritage. I'm a quarter racist. Uh, <laughs> have you, guys have, uh, you guys ever heard of a uh, uh, Wisconsin hero, Jeffrey Dahmer? We know this guy. We know, you know Jeffrey Dahmer. If you don't know Jeffrey Dahmer, he killed 17 people. Mm, tough guy alert. Watch out. <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer killed 17 people, and there's 35 documentaries about his life. Shamgar killed 6,000 people. <laughs> and he doesn't even have a Wikipedia page. <laughs> so I made him one last year. Check it out. Uh, I added that he was the first man to prefer hand jobs. <laughs> Till this guy, baby. Uh, <laughs> we're having fun. We're having fun. Okay, we'll get out of here on this. The coolest thing I did with my religion degree is that in, in every paper I wrote in college, this is true, I used the word ejaculate in every paper I wrote in college. Ha 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 ha, very funny. That's why it took six years. Uh, and I did this because in this history class, we learned that in English in the 16th and 17th century, the verb to ejaculate was a synonym for to speak. Like they'd say things like, and then Colonel Winchester ejaculated to his wife. Uh, Sorry, darling, I just ejaculated. And it was incredible. <laughs> It was incredibly confusing, and I've saved this piece of paper since I was in college. This is the first sentence of my senior thesis paper that I used to graduate from college. This is entirely true. This is how it started. In Matthew chapter 25, verse 14, Jesus is all alone in a cave with a dead child. And in order to bring that child back to life, Jesus ejaculated unto his father. <laughs> And my professor circled it and wrote, word choice, question mark? <laughs> <laughs> and that joke cost $98,000. Okay, y'all, have a good night. You've been great. Yeah.